think when Gluck looked to set the Orfeo myth, he was looking to create an atmospheric, uh, psychological drama. loving husband. He cares deeply mm -hmm. about uh, for his wife Euridice. She's a um, very passionate woman and she's very emotional and she's in love with her husband, Orfeo. Uh, I think she's wondering why uh, she have a lot of questions and I think it's a sign of a, a strong woman with an intelligent uh, heart and head. Thunder! Thunder! Our conductor and director encourage us to be very creative and come up with different ornamentations on the Baroque style so we can use those extra notes that we add in for extra emotion. Passion, love, great theater, um, and it's just beautiful music. The chorus is absolutely divine music. The personification of love, like the mischievous Cupid character. Playful character that kind of wants to mess with everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The inspiration for this design, we were in the midst of Hansel and Gretel and Vincent Lefebvre had just put in sort of the witch's eye. And I remember looking at it and thinking, it kind of looks like the everything bagel from everything everywhere all at once. Um, which if you've seen the movie, uh, there's this sort of a temple to this bagel um, that's going to end the world. And um, in that temple, there were a lot of people dressed all in white and they had kind of this makeup across their eyes. And somehow that got into my subconscious and when it came time for me to kind of to start thinking about this there was this feeling of all white and there was this feeling of a mask it is a love story love lost love returned love lost again and i won't give away what happens at the end